so you, you took a pretty good beating out there. Yeah. It looked like. How, how are you physically right now? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, that's exactly the type of game I enjoy. Um, it was a dogfight out there, um, and it was great. I was really excited with how um, we came out and we showed ourselves well, and I'm proud of the group for that. How did you guys make the jump from how Tuesday's game went to how tonight's game went? Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know we did a lot of analysis on that game, uh, a lot of breakdown between groups, the defensive group and the offensive group, and we looked ourselves in the mirror and like. Uh, question what we're doing wrong and um, I think it just came down to energy and um, you know when we create that energy that creates that momentum and then um, you know I think we see started you saw we started to fly so really proud of the group for turning it around um, and I think that's the standard tough to find the energy when you're on your fourth game in 12 days obviously some of the guys haven't played all of them but yeah played a bunch of them yeah no I don't think it's tough I think it's um it was needed it was necessary especially at home uh, in front of the fans uh we needed that win for the for the morale of the group and um everybody showed up on the team so it was it was a great job from from everybody and um like I said that's the standard now and we got to keep it like that <laughs> the uh just the way you guys played out there I mean this is just kind of how you envision when you when you how a city SC team is supposed to look? Yeah, one hundred percent. I felt like we condensed the field more to one side, uh, played better football, and um, yeah, we were more high in the press, uh, in their face, and you know I think they you could kind of see that they didn't want to deal with our pressure. They turned it over a good amount in the midfield, and um, I think if we were even more clinical on our transi transitions, um, then uh, we could have scored a couple more goals. So. Uh, I think that's, uh, you saw a lot of our DNA, and um, I was happy with it as well, just because it, it felt like um, what I had seen on, on film. So uh, it was a good, good start. Roman only had to make one save in the game, but that was a big save there right before halftime. Yeah. Keep you guys ahead. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we really rely on him for, for his qualities and moments, and, um, you know, he's an incredible asset for us, uh, a real leader, and always comes up in big moments, and, and that's, um, that's that's awesome for us. So we're happy to really really happy to have him back there supporting us. Or Julian, Chris. Obviously, you know you're still your new player, and it seems like you pretty much slotted in seamlessly without any transitional period. Really, I'm just curious. Do you think there's still a lot for you to learn in terms of system, and there's still another level for you to get, or are you kind of happy with where you are right now? Yeah, no, never happy. Uh, always want to improve, um, and I think this. The way that we play and uh, the environment here, it just makes me so excited to play on the field. Uh, really, really enjoying it. Um, and I think I can always improve on um, on the ball stuff. You know, definitely there's a couple turnovers on the field that I want to clean up. But, um, you know, that soccer is going to be mistakes. So learn from those mistakes, um, see what I did well, and keep supporting the guys around me. Um, you know, I, I love being around Edu um, and supporting him with his quality of play, being there next to him and cleaning things up. So. Really excited with how things are going and um, want to keep keep the momentum. And it also seems like you're a big celebration guy. How much does that influence, <laughs> you know, what's going on in the crowd and everything? Yeah, like no, it's great. I mean, I feed off the energy. And um, I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but, um, you know, that, that's it. that's just how I am. Uh, just do what comes natural. And um, I'm just having fun out there. You can see it uh, just sliding around. So at the, end of the, at the end of the day, we want to have fun out there, and that's what I'm trying to do. Are you going to be sliding around if you score your first goal soon? 100%. I feel like I've trademarked this skill slow, like slide or something, but uh, I'll stick with it. Sati. Chris, now that you have played three games here at City Park, and today was the first win in those, the second win in, in the first win in MLS, uh, what do you think of the City Park environment and the experience here? Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Um, you know, I think at times when there's rough spells, they, they help us uh, get out of those with, um, you know, the energy that they, energy they provide. And, um, you know, I've been to um, other venues in the past where um, you feel like there's just a wave coming on you where it's, um, you know, uh, attack after attack. And to feel like I'm a part of that, uh, you can feel that with this crowd. And I think that's incredible. Um, you know, you feel that energy and it makes you want to keep going. So. Um, I think that's incredible. Um, you can really see how this is a home field advantage. And, you know, if we're going to keep selling out, I think that's awesome. So it's a great soccer city, and we really appreciate the support from the fans.
and considering that the next two games are away, uh, was there any extra pressure to, to get a result tonight, or is it too early in the, se in the season? To uh, it's early in that? the season, but um, we just wanted to, to see, when we looked in the mirror, we wanted to see ourselves in that game. And I think we, we saw that. It was definitely our best game out of the uh, four that we've played so far, 100%. You know, I think you saw a lot of uh, what makes us good, um, and that was just the 11 collectively being in it together. So. Um, we need to take that on the road. It's harder to get points, obviously, in MLS on the road. We, we understand that, but uh, we've got a lot of experience within the team to, to get points, and we, f we firmly believe that. Do you consider that uh, the other team it was a little desperate because a lot of yellow cards happened? Yeah, I think yellow cards were flying around everywhere. It seemed like we were getting yellow cards, they were getting yellow cards, a lot of fouls. It was definitely a chippy game. Um, and when I saw, you know, the middle three that they put out um, when they put up the starting 11, James, Keaton, and um, the, I forget the other guy's name, Pereira, yeah. Um, you know, I knew it was going to be a dogfight. Those guys are all strong, physical, and it definitely was that. It was, it was a battle. And um, props to, to the entire team uh, from us for, for wanting to get into that fight and not shying away from it. So I think that was really good, um, and we need to keep that going. Chris, did it feel like you guys were uh, extra aggressive with the offensive opportunities? It felt like there were several from distance, and obviously you guys cashed in yeah. on a couple. But did you get that sense? Yeah, we were definitely very aggressive. You know, we set, we set the tone from the start, and um, that's part of our DNA is aggressive in your face. And, you know, teams don't want to deal with that. And um, we need to continue to, to, to feed off that because I sure do, and I know that the guys next to me do when – you know, we see that we're, we're gaining that momentum and we're in their half and they can't get out. Um, that's a good feeling. And um, we will continue to pick up chances. And the more chances you create, the more goals you score. So I think that's a good bar to set from today. And we'll keep going from there. Chris, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.